Good day, guys. So today I'll be talking about um, how to backtest, how to do backtesting in trading because backtesting is very important too, and it's very sad that a lot of traders don't know how to backtest. So if you want to backtest, I'm doing videos so you learn how to backtest. If you want to backtest, you have to use Trading View, Trading View, and on Trading View you use this Liplay too. But in Trading View you have to pay for it. It's not free. You have to pay for that Liplay too. So on this go chatting.com you have to use the replay to the replay to is there is absolutely free you are not paying for anything so let's go in i don't want this video to be long if you want to do back testing like this is btc usd i click on my replay to this thing will come out you can see something is coming out so um you double click on it this 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 thing will come out now this stuff you can carry it and drop anywhere you want here if you let me zoom this thing so you'll be seeing it very well if i click display now you watch how the candle will be moving then you can pause it then this uh seconds and bar is the speed the speed of the candlestick uh time it will take before i print one candle so this one is now 1.9 seconds let's play it i'll let you see any 1.9 seconds it will print one candle so so let's dive in. I will be strictly using so, uh, supply and demand or support and resistance on this strategy. Let's let's back test at least take one or two two trades. So now let me start spotting my zone. I have this resistance on this zone. I have a resistance on this zone. So let me allow price to. And how I do my support or resistance, any two valid turning points price reacted that is a support or resistance for me. So here, as price is picking up and spotting my zones. So I will take a buy on this trade. Once price broke this high, this high you are seeing here. Once price broke it to the upside, I'm taking a buy position. So I'm patiently waiting. Okay. I'll wait for body of candlestick to close above this high. I'm taking a buy. But if not close it, my setup is not valid. Okay, this is my support zone. Okay. See this zone now. You can see it we have a morning star here and candle closing above my support so this is a signal for me to take a buy position on this trade so as i place my buy my stop loss should be below this morning star then my risk to reward i'm targeting one ratio two one ratio two or let me do one ratio three because Let's take our profit to the nearest resistance. Then, once you have set it like this, um, you click on your play to and you allow your market to execute, you allow your trade to run. So, let's see how this trade goes. So, this backtest is very important. Um, any pay you want to trade is very essential to backtest on that strategy. Go like last two years data three years that back test it to the current price market is now it will help you a lot it's trying to help you a lot okay as it's going now i'm see, also seeing a w pattern here still telling me that the buying is valid your stop but proper way of trade, trade once you have gotten your entry put your stop loss put your take profit then allow you can see allow the market to to play out as you can see how this trade go now the tp was smart so very simple don't and if you're learning strategy learn strategy that you you understand because this trading there are so many strategies out there but learn the one you understand because there are many concepts but well, this is simple supply and resistance or support and resistance i'm just using here or supply and demand one you can call it so you see the way we do this trade straight to our tp this is one almost one is to four say one is to three so you do it over and over and record it this thing will build you so Bye for the day.